In this video, we're gonna to tour a two bedroom, one and a half bath, fully remodeled condo in South Kihei. And the owner of this condo is gonna give us the tour and go over all the details of this amazing renovation. So let's check it out. My name is Michael Fish and I'm a real estate agent on the beautiful island of Maui. And in this video, we're gonna to tour the two bedroom, one and a half bath, fully remodeled condo in South Kihei. And John, the owner of this condo, is gonna give the tour and go over all the details of his amazing renovation and this masterpiece that he has created. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up, click that subscribe button, and now let's go take the tour. Uh, if you look at most of these units, this one was original uh, when I purchased it. It doesn't look anything like it did. There was a lot of thought and a lot of care, a lot of compassion, and a lot of strategizing in how to make this place what it is now. This is called the peninsula. You'll notice you can pass through here like magic. Uh, it originally had a wall with cabinets and you know a dead end kind of kitchen. Now you have this walk with me kitchen, so you can get right through here. It opens up natural light. It will show you that bedroom. Uh, it has double barn doors that allow that light. Now this is the 30 inch hammered metal copper sink. Not always easy to clean, but I love the way it looks. Um, it is a, uh, the garbage disposal is on an air switch. So you just push that off and on. Uh, it keeps, uh, you know, you don't have to use switches. You'll notice I've got dimmers here, right here. There's outlets. You have a double gang with the GCFI here. And you've also got mood lighting under the cabinets. Those are dimmable and those lights actually accentuate the backsplash in this tile here. This, this uh, granite itself is uh, fire Bordeaux, has a lot of personality, but with very natural beauty. And this is a nice cleanable surface for those of you that do cook, you know that grease and other contents will get trapped into tiles and things like that. You don't have that problem here. These cabinets are Hampton. I got those at ceramic tile plush, which is also, I'm not plugging them, but they are a great organization. Um, this was from Ceramic Tile Plus, this granite was Ceramic Tile Plus, and this cabin. And I love them. These are white Hamptons. These handles, I actually did research. I looked at here on an island, and I wasn't satisfied with anything I saw. I got these on Amazon, and they are fantastic. The backs of them are concave for a finger. They're easy to clean surface, and they're bold, but they're not too masculine. And they don't hook on your shirt. I've seen some that stick out too much. You walk by, and it basically tears your shorts off. So this is a spice rack. For spice grills. Um, this was a way to use this uh, this whole functional kitchen. So everybody has that junk drawer. Afraid to look. Yep, we got junk. Also, this is your recycle in your trash bin. Pulls out. It's convenient. I put it right next to the sink. Why? Because the majority of the time you're doing work, you either throw stuff in there or into the dishwasher. These are baby proof things. Here, my tenants have a beautiful little girl. I have to have her show me how to open those. So these pantries. Uh, originally there was a uh, it was about a six foot wide uh, closet here. It didn't have a lot of depth like me. And then there was a broom closet right here. All that, I took that out and we went with the 36 inch granite top desk. These are beautiful crafted uh, knobs here. They're called pumpkin, uh, but the, uh, the print on it, I'm not sure what it was called, but it was just beautiful and it matches tile. And I love it with this uh, granite. Um, this area right here, uh, originally we bought glass cabinets for this, and when we put the glass shelves in, we decided, you know what, I like it without the cabinets. I do have the cabinet doors, if you like, I will leave those and you can use it at your pleasure. Uh, down here, you'll look at the window seals. Uh, most of them were just the, the drywall standard window seal. So I put that, it gave a little bit more depth to that, and I had a kitty cat cord and love to sit up on that little window seal. So if you don't like cats, I don't need it, no, I'm kidding. So, this floor is continuous. This is called Curly Koa Laminate. I like laminate. Uh, some people, you know, they want real wood. If you gouge real wood, you're replacing it and you're repairing it. So this is durable. Matter of fact, if you've ever done this type of work, it destroys a saw blade. Uh, when you're done with this job, you're done with that blade. It's so, uh, there was a lot of work in strategizing how these prints were pieced together. Um, you have limitations in what they look like, so you didn't want identical tiles right next to each other so i went to that effort to avoid that and it pops people walk in the first thing they notice is the floor in my charm so down here 
This is a double sliding barn door. These are frosted glass, they're privacy glass. So you'll notice you can't really see into that room, but it does provide light, natural light that comes in from that window there. And this is a 55 inch opening. So if you've ever tried to squeeze stuff around through the small door that was here, and you'd realize the logistical challenges. Now you have this broad opening here. And because I like open space, I opened this closet. It used to have, I believe, a 24 inch opening and it was very confining, very little uh, ability to put anything in there. So I made this an alcove. It's got a, uh, a built-in LED light so that you can turn that off and on. And then you'll notice the tenants, they have a beautiful little dresser in here. You still have your shelving and you can actually put a closet pocket rod here to give it that closet pill where you're not looking at the storage if you elect to. Um, the double barn doors in here, this is a 10 foot long rail here. So these are designed to where they can travel all the way across. You want to open this area and then they have a track down here. When you put it onto that track, it holds that door in a specific position. So you have options here on opening this room up. It's functional. It used to be my gym, matter of fact. It was pretty cool. So the master bedroom, uh, we did do replacements on these doors. So they're not your just flat paper doors. These have a nice appeal, new hardware, and they close and open perfectly. You don't have any of that. Why is this not closing? So um, this is a wall inserted shelving unit. You'll notice I have a thing for glass. I like these glass shelves in here with the natural, it has a LED light that shows right down through that. It doesn't function as storage for, you know, suitcases or anything like that, but it's just a nice accent to the room. Now, I've sat here in red with that lighting right there available. You've also got USB plugs. I put those strategically here and over by the counter so that when you come in and empty your pockets like I do, you can plug your phone in right there. This room right here, um, this uh, particular design, uh, we wanted to make this room flow, so I have a, 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 a low depth uh, dresser, which you can't have, I want this, but uh, you know, I would recommend going with that because you keep more of your floor print. Um, this place was designed, uh, you know, it's a little difficult to bring large furniture in here, so if you do purchase this unit, you have your own furnishings, consider enjoying the space more than you do the stuff, uh, I would recommend that just a, pit, uh, a tip. So these lights here, there was one single light up here with a square can. It looks something like a hotel almost. And so we put these in and of course a dimmer because that's how I roll. So now you have adequate lighting. You have mirrors here. You have like, if you come right from the shower, you can close this off just for a little dressing room and have adequate light to pull stuff right out. So function was in mind in every aspect of what I've done. This is a frosted glass door also. And it's a different print. The others had a bamboo print. This is a more of a tropical print. And you'll notice that it carries over into some other design. This is the, uh, so you have access to your breaker, which is kind of nice. Uh, it's right here. And this also acts as a cover for that. So if you don't like looking at your breaker panel, it's not in your way. Um, brand new stack washer and dryers a couple of years ago. These are uh, Samsung, uh, high efficiency. So they work really well. They're new. They're uh, They've, uh, they've seen a little combat because there's uh, you know, a couple that's been living here, but they've been very efficient and very effective. There's a shelving unit that I built. Um, this kind of hides or discretes the uh, vent. Of course, you have to have a dryer vent going out, and it gives you the ability to store stuff. This is removable. It's on wheels. It's easy to clean. Uh, this is one of my brainchilds. Every once in a while, I get a good idea. And so this is a fold-up folding table. So very rudimentary, it's just got a shelf, uh, or it's got a little hinge uh, action here. This is strong. Now you can't probably stand and do gymnastics, but you can do laundry. And there is a small ironing board, or you can iron on this surface. There's a double gang, there's an outlet here, so plug in an iron, or your radio if you decide to do that while you're folding laundry. This is very functional, because when you're pulling stuff out of the dryer, and you'll notice I have the dryer door facing this, so everything flows really well. You pull your stuff right out of the dryer, pop it right on your ironing board, and you can do that. This pocket door was designed and notched out. These are glass shelves, again, big fan of glass. It opens the place up. And so this gives you the ability to isolate this bathroom from that bathroom, but you don't have a door 
that swings out into here. Now this was a door that opened into this bathroom as well. You couldn't even have a full size washer and dryer. With this and with this, you don't have the intrusion of a standard door and they look better. So you'll notice this print and this print, tropical matching. There was a lot of thought. We did not cut corners on trying to make this place eye appeal and living appeal. We love it a lot. Went to these kind of depths, you'll notice even made insertable, low or shallow point, the toilet paper rolls, so they don't stick out. So you really try to optimize and maximize the space that you do have. It's a 750 square foot place. You have to use all that space very intelligently. You'll notice a shelf, which is a little occupied, but there's a shelf over the washer and dryer as well. That gives you additional storage. The shower. This is one of my favorite parts, and this was a mocha pencil tile to finish that out. It's very expensive, but I love the way it looked, and I wanted to go that depth. So this has uh, a raised uh, splashback, or or your tile is run up but higher than the additional or the original, so that you could have you know a, a little bit more uh, surface area in here for eye appeal and cleaning because. When you're spraying, getting water up on the paint and stuff like that, this takes care of that. I decided that I wanted to go with something like this instead of your standard soap dish that builds up, well, let's just call it crap. You, know, you get stuff that builds up soap and, and miscellaneous. This was a clean, uh, it has a little mirror, it has dispensers in it. It's obviously yours uh, if you elect to buy the place, but uh, I would recommend something like that for anyone because it just keeps everything contained. You don't have a big tower of miscellaneous. Now, if you use 30 products, they won't fit in there. That's up to you. Okay, so this was all put in in 2017, 2018. Brand new tub, brand new tile. It does show a little bit of water, uh, water spots and stuff like that because it has been in use, but it's an attractive and appealing tile. It matches this, it complements everything in here. I love these countertops here because I don't like the drop-in uh, sinks where there's gunk, if you want to call it. If you have that lip under there, that's where everything goes and hides. So this is a nice clean, it's a pop appeal, and it's just soothing. If you'll notice all the colors that I have in here, they all are earth-based. They're more of a, a neutral tone or what I call pastels. So nothing seems too loud if you like that. You can paint the place any way you want to. I did put in a light over the shower. That wasn't original. And so the ceiling fan and that light have been split off from your overhead light here. Uh, that was by recommendation of a professional electrician I had put in. His name was Sammy Gontus. And I hope to see that guy again. He moved to the East Coast on me. How much uh, time did you spend? Uh, um, Do you think? Well, I, I was not a contractor and I was also working full time. So I would work on the time until I exhausted basically. Uh, when I got to you know drywall stuff and and, and layout, I actually brought in the A team. Uh, uh, my wife's son said, you know, let me bring in people and they can help you do this in a fraction of the time. By then I was so exhausted from working all the time. It wasn't just, you know, the planning, the strategizing, everything. I did a lot of work on this place. We did the flooring and it was exhausting to prep this place to make it what it is today. Uh, I, uh, I have sat here and just in awe and looked at my own home after we were done because I loved it that much. There's so many aspects about it. Uh, just to sit back in the corner there in the living room and look and enjoy it, it was so much worth the, the effort. And I hope somebody can appreciate and love this place as much as I do. I'm a little emotional because I love this place. It was a labor of love and I'm very compassionate about what I do. I hope you appreciate and love this home as much as I do. And John, how, do you do this as a job, remodeling? I do not. Um, I, up until the point that we put in all the effort uh, in making this remodel happen, uh, you know, I did little odd uh, stuff, you know, shelves and little things like that. You know, there was a learning ex experience with this and I had resources like uh, my now wife's uh, son has his own remodeling company. I worked with people that were uh, contractors for electrical and plumbing and things like that. So, you know, I, I engaged them when I needed and I wanted to put this place together intricately and specifically to my design. So this is a soul child of mine. If you look around and I'll show you the amount of effort, there was a lot of strategy and there was a lot of compassion involved in making this place happen. And I will not take all the credit. My lovely wife Kathleen was very helpful and inspirational in the decisions in materials and the design. She had to shoot me down on some of mine. They weren't all genius. So this is the one eye out here. 
So the line itself, uh, put in a surfboard bar, you can kind of see it from, but we'll do a walkout. So this was a brainchild of my former neighbor downstairs. We thought, wow, we should put in a surfboard bar. And so the original design actually had buckets for seats and this folded down. Now it's actually a nice solid uh, surfboard bar, little Maui Brewing Company label there. I stole that from them, don't turn me in. So this is actually cut from the size of uh, Oli board. Oli was a surfboard designer for many years and my friend had an Oli board. So this is actually shaped off of her board. These lights, they're called Feather. And so we were very particular in the cans that we pick and the type of lights that we put in there on a dimmer. And you'll notice as we go through, I have a lot of dimmers. I really like ambiance and I like the ability to dim these lights. These pop-out screens are designed where you can close them and pin them shut. So if you have severe weather or you want to keep somebody in here, uh, we had pets at one time and gave them the ability to keep the kitty cat from getting away in the office. That was the original intent of that. This is built for the air conditioner to drain and a refrigerator. All of it can come out, but it's very functional as is. It gives you additional storage. It was specifically designed with this area in mind. So this tile here, and it matches the tile in the bathroom, you'll notice when you come out, you have the most decorative pattern here. So I was very strategic in how these tiles went. So they were a, you wouldn't have identical tiles right next to each other. They're evenly spaced on the sides. Very meticulous and very methodical approach. You'll see different designs. So uh, I rotated tiles that were similar to the ones next to them. There was a lot of planning and strategy involved. These screens right here, give you a little bit more privacy. You can hit them with a pressure washer or something like that. They're removable, but I like having them in because that gives you that, you know, containment here, privacy, and you don't get car lights and things. There is a parking lot here. And there's even a beer opener if you like that kind of stuff. I do. So this What is, about these doors? These sliding doors, they're Pella. They have a built-in uh, slider here. For mini blinds, you can adjust much like a dimmer. You can kind of adjust that for specific light. They work really well. Uh, I have to admit, when I put them in, I couldn't stop playing with them. I really like them. Uh, the air conditioner, <coughs> the original air conditioner was, you know, large, almost useless as far as effectiveness. And so this is a real high quality, low uh, noise air conditioner. It's framed in very nicely. I like that frame. And you'll notice that you do not see a cord. The cord is actually outside, so it doesn't intrude absolutely amazing what an incredible job that john has done a masterpiece that he has created my name is michael fish if you like this video hit that thumbs up click that subscribe button and i'll see you again and again and again aloha